Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only Trent set of DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. Today's cocktail is called Pussy So Good You Gotta Paddle In. <laughs> <laughs> the ingredients you need are some Evan Williams bourbon. You can get that from Kirkland's. Some Santa Cruz organic lemonade. And um, your finest triple sec. And what you're going to do <laughs> is get a red plastic cup. Fill it halfway with ice. Heavily pour in the bourbon. And then pour a splash of lemonade and two splashes of triple sec. And that is called Pussy So Good You Gotta Paddle In. And we are actually drinking that today. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Nicki Minaj lyric. <laughs> oh, I was like, where did she get this from? Who the fuck is paddling in a pussy? I can't remember I like what know. that song is where she's like, Pussy So Good You Gotta Paddle In. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What you think. Think. <laughs> I really can't even stand Nicki Minaj. I can't believe I did that, but I like that. <sighs> she has a few good ones. Okay, welcome back to Cocktails Dirty Discussions, you guys. Hey, y'all. Hey, how was your weekend? You know, my weekend was very odd. Um, odd in what way? I was supposed to go to New York. Right. And was so ready to go. And Kiki, I didn't. Why? And I don't know why I'm saying it. I think this is a nervous smile. When I share the story, I don't want people to be like, that bitch is rude. I think this is just a nervous smile. Okay. I couldn't go to New York to visit Italian Stallion because... I got this overwhelming feeling of just like, don't go. It was it was weird. It mm -hmm. was really weird. It was like my intuition was like, it had started the maybe like two nights before. And then when Cola was doing my hair the night before, I was like, I don't want to go to New York. And she's like, why? Like, mm -hmm. he seems like a really nice guy. Girl, he bought me some Versace shoes and I really wanted them. Okay. But I, that's how you know I, the feeling was really overwhelming because mm -hmm. I didn't go. And I when I, I left work early on Thursday so I could catch my flight and I still needed to pack. And then I called my sister and I was like, it was just overwhelming. I, it might not make sense. I don't know what it is. But it was some intuition shit. And it was like, it just kept saying, don't go. So you didn't go what he say? He was pissed. I mean, naturally. Naturally. And I expected it. I called my sister. I was like, Mac, here's what I'm feeling. Here's how I feel. And I don't want to go. She was like, okay, if you really feel that way, then honestly, I don't want you to go. She was like, mm -hmm. if you, if I think you should trust your intuition and listen to yourself. And at the end of the day, you're grown. If you don't want to do something, you don't have to do it just because he bought the flights. Yeah. You just don't have to. You can get refunded or you can offer to pay him back, whatever you want to do. Well, and so. You say, <clears throat> it's an L. You're going to have to take an L for that. That's the risk you take. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, I didn't do that. So I called him. She's like, but call him now since it's getting closer to the flight. It was like, it was five and the flight was at 830. So he called me. He's like, baby. He was like, you, you headed to airport. And I was like, I'm not coming. And he was like, he started laughing. He was like, stop playing. I was like, I'm really not coming. And I sat down on my patio and I was like, I'm so sorry. I explained to him. And he was really looking at me like the fuck like you mm -hmm. feel like you don't want to come so you really not coming i was like, i'm really not coming he was just like so mad um did he cuss you out in italian he didn't cuss me out in italian but i felt like he wanted to he mm -hmm. said some tears he uh was like i just can't believe you would do this you is this just what atlanta girls do like what he was going off and then, but it was all with an accent um <laughs> he was like Sorry. you know <laughs> He was like, you are nothing. You. He was like really going. And I get it. So I was just taking it. I get it. I couldn't imagine if I purchased your flight and then we plan we made all these reservations for the weekend and stuff. And and I just and I would be mad, too. But at the same time, it's like I don't think I would be going off off. Like I would just be like, OK, you have a feeling I don't want you to be uncomfortable in any way. And I could have just gone or I could have just ghosted him and blocked him and not gone. I felt like I handled it like a grown woman. And I mm -hmm. tried to tell him my feelings which a man wouldn't do, which I'm not trying to compare. I did it. It was fucked up. It probably was really fucked up. And he's really mad. However, told him I would pay him back if he couldn't get his money back. Mm -hmm. And um, 
he was like, fuck you, you, you're not going to, how can I trust you? I, you can. I was like, I really am going to give you your money back. Like I, cause I feel bad. Like uh-huh. it's, it's, it was just weird. It was just, I don't know what happened. And then we had planned to go to, he was going to come with me to my friend's wedding next month. We already got mm-hmm. the tickets in yeah. the hotel. And anyways, it was just, so I didn't go to New York this weekend. Well, so what a dramatic turn of events. <laughs> a dramatic turn of events. But I will say that goes to show you, look, you can't always, not that he was trying to buy me, but I feel like I always talk about money and men spending money like that's all that matters. When in reality, it's really not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How was your weekend, Keith? Uh, my weekend was good. It was very eventful and dramatic for no reason at all. Like in good a good way. Okay. Yeah. Like, you know, I was just up to my old tricks, uh, getting drunk and things and running out in the street. I was at work today, actually. Um, I thought I didn't have Monday off, but I did. So I was happy about that. So I ended up taking a mini road trip. Oh. Um, I was just doing stuff this weekend. So... Sunday, my friend Carrie from Howard was in town um, and she had other plans, but those plans got canceled. So her friend, she has plenty of friends here and she had some other friends from Houston who were going to be in town. So we were all kind of like spending time with her doing different stuff. So Sunday we went to brunch. Mm -hmm. We went to traffic, actually. Mm -hmm. So we go to traffic, have a great time. We um, got extremely drunk. Um, It's always fun. So traffic is brunch, you know, and I think it's kind of late for brunch, but okay. So we leave and it's like 6 p.m., but now it's dark. Y'all had had dinner. Well, we didn't even eat. We Uh just went there and drank Hennessy shots and tequila shots. You're back on the hen. I never left the hen. You left the hen. <laughs> um, but that's what that's what they had. And it, it ended up being like a Howard reunion. It was a great time. But I was so drunk. I walked outside. I spoke to my coworker. I do not remember this. And when we got in the Uber, don't remember this part either. But when we got in the Uber to go back to my place, I was like, what time is it? Carrie, did you have me out all night? It's like 6 a.m. Look how dark it is. The sun should be coming up soon. No, bitch. It was nighttime. Like you weren't like in a club. Like, yeah, the it was six p.m. <laughs> the sun already went down, and I was just like confused about the why time. I, can't fuck with it to see. I mean, that happens with anything. Like I love drinking, but I really cannot handle liquor. Like I'm not good at it, and I keep trying to push the limits just to push the limits. And I don't know why I do that, but I do. So anyway, we do brunch. That was fun. Um, afterwards, um, some friends came over and we hung out. Then me and my friend Tiffany, who just moved out here, we left and we went out. And then I was like, I want to make bad decisions today. And she was hmm. like, girl, what? So then I'm like calling people, texting people, like trying to like keep the party going. That's a horrible idea. And I'm still debating on if I want to tell y'all what happened during that period of time or not. But, um, so Sunday happens, then uh, Monday I took a little road trip, came back, did the Unrated and Unruly podcast. That was really fun. So did I. I had so much fun with those girls. Yeah, they were really cool. If you guys haven't listened to their podcast, check them out. We did our episodes separate, but they collaborated with like so many Atlanta podcasters, mm-hmm. whether they came on their shows or people came on theirs. Um, they were really cool. They were dope. Um, what else did I do? I cooked for friends as usual. I also invited a bunch of people over. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Don't accept an invite from me if I'm like super drunk and you can tell. Because I'm probably not going to do shit. I took a nap. I just think it's crazy how alcohol can sincerely make you not like just totally erase a portion of the night. And you really do wake up like, huh? Like you wake up like everything's good. And maybe everything is good. But you'd be like, wait, I don't even remember doing that. Like I just. Me either. I thought I remember most of the night. And then I'm like, it's a piece that's missing because Carrie left me and went to the future concert. But I didn't remember her leaving. I was like, mm, oh, well. You pick up that phone and you look at the... I actually had a night oh, this, this weekend like that, too. <laughs> I had a, I got drunk and I didn't realize I was so drunk. But when I woke up in the morning and the top of my ponytail was sliding off, Cola had to come over and like redo it. She was like, what happened? I was like, I don't know. I started going through my phone, bitch. And I was like, I mean, I'm hitting up people that I haven't talked to in forever, having full-blown conversations as if I am coherent enough to do this. I opened That's it up, I see a video, Kiki, and I was sc- <gasps> I couldn't tell who what sent kind of it, video? him or me. It was a video and it was a girl moaning and it was like, uh, uh, and it sounded like me. I was like, oh my God, I just, I just closed it. And Cole was like, Medina, you gotta open that back up to see who did it. Do I? 
<laughs> the good thing was he sent it to me. And I think the nigga I was texting, he was drunk too. And he, because I texted good. him like, good, hey, good, good. are we good? And he didn't respond. I think he's a little bit embarrassed, but you don't need to be embarrassed. Sorry, I thought it was me. Okay. I didn't even know what We're we good. Was. Everything's good. Yeah. I'm over here asking him to pay my bills. I started. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I got to get drunk to ask these niggas. I started getting mad and I was like texting people. And I was like, I was having two different conversations about the same situation with two different people. One person, I decided to like, I'm just <clears throat> sending a text for every individual thought. I don't know how many texts I sent. I'm not going back and looking at it. I don't care. The other person, it's like paragraphs. And I'm just like, why did I do this? Why, why did I do this? This is embarrassing. <sighs> and then like neither of them said anything about it later. And I was like, good. One of them probably knew I was drunk and just let it go. The other one, I know he was drunk. So so we're good. Yeah, we're good. But yeah, that was my weekend. I had a good time. Um, happy to have a day off. I would like a few more. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I her. Okay, so we are gonna play this or that this week. Um, you want to start or you want me to? You go. Okay, road trip or a flight somewhere. Mm. Oh, I love a good road trip, but. I've never had a road trip where I didn't have a fallout. So I'm going to go with really? flight. Really? <laughs> you were there to witness the first one. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Ooh, yeah. mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. going to go with flight. Yeah, it's, it's quicker. <laughs> Both of you can go to sleep. It'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, we're still friends at the end of the trip. Okay. Uh, mountain vacay or beach vacay? Beach. Yeah. But mountain sounds so romantic. Lately, since it's winter time, I've really been wanting to do a ski trip in like a cabin somewhere. Do you know how to ski? No. Oh, God. I want to go where there's skiing available. I really just want to take a picture for Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, I will try, but I don't know how to do that shit. Do you? Mm -mm. Yeah. I mean, I would get out there. I would, I would definitely, try, yeah. yeah. On the flat part. I just want to scoot. I'm I, not ready to ski on my first trip, I don't think. I think I can do it. You probably can. I can. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking thank you. Okay, a rich dick or a big dick? Oh, you already know. Rich dick all day. What's up, nigga? Where that rich dick at? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What um, about you? Rich dick or big dick? Rich dick. dick. I, I don't even like big dick. <laughs> look, look. Rich dick <laughs> take big dick all day. Okay. <laughs> Bad um, teeth or always bad haircut? Ooh, I, I'm i going with bad teeth on that one. <laughs> how bad? <laughs> I mean, I wrote it, but I'm just thinking about how bad. I have two specific people that were in mind when I wrote that question. Uh, I can't handle a bad haircut because if you have a bad haircut and it's always a bad haircut, like you think it's a good haircut, that says a lot about your character. I have fucked with niggas that vision. have bad teeth and they still look good and everything else is put together. I don't know why they won't get their teeth fixed, but but a bad haircut, it just says a lot about you as a man. I feel you. Yeah. Mm, that's some, mm, yeah. Bad teeth. Okay. <laughs> um, sex with a fine ass crush or sex with the love of your life for the moment? Because we know that can change. <laughs> mm, Y'all know I love a fine ass nigga. And I be cheating. I'm going to do sex with a fine ass crush. I'm really thinking about it. <laughs> it's so hard. I mean, a fine, yeah. I mean, the fine ass crush is like, even if the dick ain't good. I'm still going to like it because he looks good. But then it's like the love of my life. Hopefully that's a good sex because I love him. <sighs> you risk it being boring because it is. If nobody has to find out, find ass crush. Okay. Um. Oh, it's your turn. Okay. Big man booty or big man hips? Booty. <laughs> I'd rather I a man have a big booty than hips. <laughs> because I feel like it's easier to disguise in today's style. It's easier to disguise the booty than it is the <laughs> hips because you just see him walking towards you. You just see hips because <laughs> it used to be fine back in the day when clothes were baggy. Yeah. But we're not really wearing baggy clothes like that. So it's like you got to see it 
to the side and he probably wouldn't take pictures like that um he might wear a jacket you can put your arm around his waist and kind of put your <laughs> arm and rest it on his ass and it might like <laughs> make it seem not so big that's Both all i can of these think are of just so horrible because i feel like as a man to have like a big old booty or some big old hips like it's like at the last minute god was actually making a woman and he was like oh i read it wrong i read it wrong just make it a man and just threw a man head and a penis on that body not a man head <laughs> I really despise both, but I would have to go with the man booty also because the yeah. hips. You ever seen a man with the hips? They even have a certain walk. And like, then I'm just going to feel like, well, that's just a little muscle. Maybe you just did too many squats. You might have a football ass. I don't know. I'd, I'd just rather that. Okay. Next one. Okay. Would you rather uh, this or that? Pussy sucked or licked? I really like a combination of both. But I think I'm going to go with licked because if it's too much sucking, it's not going to feel good. Yeah. I need it to be like a mix. I like to go with licked away. also. Mm -hmm. I like licking. I like soft licks. Like, cause like you said, when you start sucking on a pussy and then like, if you, if you moan for one me like second, they are assuming, let me go harder. And now yeah, it's like, turn it up. And then that's not what I meant. Yeah. It's fine. Move on. That's what I meant. Okay. Thumb in the butt or, f or finger in the butt. Or a finger in the butt. Okay. I'm going to go with thumb. Me too. I don't need all that length yeah. up my ass. Just And the thumb is really too big. I prefer a pinky. And when people like put their finger in, you tend to just naturally go like this. And I don't like that motion because you're now digging and some shit is going, some pooty is coming out. Okay. <laughs> so I told my mom I was going to tone it down this week. <laughs> Why did you tell her that? <laughs> because. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> phone sex. Oh, wait. I did that one. Okay. Your turn. Phone sex or sexting? Sexting. Yeah. I like sexting. I like to go back and read it later. Sexting is just, you can go back and read it later, but then also I like, my imagination is better with sexting because you get a minute to like think and create a story as opposed to like when you're actually on the phone, whether you're talking uh -huh. or on FaceTime, you really, sometimes that makes me nervous because it's like the nigga might say something and then you like thrown off like, mm -hmm. and you just don't know what you're just like, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah sexting all the way i really enjoy that that's one of my favorite pastimes okay go through his phone or go through his email i'm going through the niggas i fuck with they probably don't even ain't nothing in the email yeah ain't nothing in that email i'm gonna to go through your phone me too i wish we have way too many male listeners for me to share this on our show but i was sharing on unrated and unruly um i shared so what much i with do them. i did i was getting carried away and i wasn't even drunk i shared somebody I even shared on this show yeah me too Ooh. So I just, I felt like, okay, these aren't the same listeners. They don't know all my business. They'll figure it out because they'll probably come back and listen to us, but it's a little different. Um, but I shared like how my method to going through a man's phone to be the most efficient with your time because, you know, it's always like a countdown to the bomb goes off, which is him <clears throat> seeing that his phone is missing. Yeah. But I ain't, I'm, I can't I tell y'all. I'll tell you later. Yeah. I can tell you later, but I won't be sharing it on the show. Sorry. DM me, ladies. Yeah, okay. I need to know. Um, did I ask that one or you did? Uh, you did. Okay. Oh, wait. Mm, I don't know. One night stand or orgy? <laughs> one night stand. I'm actually going to go with orgy. Okay. What do you want the orgy to consist of? Two girls. Okay. And a guy. Two That's other orgy, girls right? and a guy. That's still an orgy, right? Or is mm -hmm. that, do we need to add one I think more? that four people is if, enough. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so me, two girls, and a guy. That's, that's how that I That might like be it. fun. I think but I also fun. feel like it might be too much. Ooh. I don't know. I've been invited into these foursomes and things, and I'm just like, oh. it sounds good when we sext him, but then when it's like real life, it's like, I'm not fucking all of y'all. That's a lot of fucking people. Ooh. Okay. I think I might fuck all y'all. I feel like I would just run out of energy. Well, see, that's the good thing about it being more girls than guys, because mm -hmm. he's going to run out of energy. Yeah. Not us. Okay. Um, bad sex or bad head? <sighs> that just really depressed me, because it's so hard, because it's like, I don't really like to have sex without head being given both ways. Mm -hmm. And if the head is bad, now you fucked me up mentally. Because now I feel like I'm not going to perform well with the sex because you just gave me horrible head. So I think I'm going to have to go. Because if the sex is bad, that doesn't mean the head was bad. 
True. And head is really important to me. I'm going to go with bad sex. I'm going to go with bad head because you just don't ever have to do that again. <laughs> um, I still want some dick. Otherwise, what do I need you for? Like, what did you come here for? I could use my toy and that can supplement for your lack of head giving ability and it'll be fine. But I want a dick that's attached to a man that's warm, hard, and warm inside of me. Like, that's important. Okay. And I don't want the toys because my wrist is going to hurt. Okay. The last one. Um, parents catch you in the act or you catch them? I'm just going to die. I'd rather catch them. I've already done it. I, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have to go and catch them too. Because then you don't have to live with the... If my parents ever walked in on me having sex, first of all, I don't know if I ever told the story where my all my whole family found that I was giving head in a yes. the movie theater. That mm -hmm. shit, I still to this day be like, I won't do shit in a movie theater, and I'm a grown ass woman. I cannot. But that's just <laughs> that's embarrassing. You know, they gonna it tell everybody. They are gonna tell their friend. Your mom is for sure telling your friends. Your dad is ashamed of you. Mm -mm. Speaking of giving head in the movie theaters, this week topic. <laughs> this week's topic is exhibitionism, uh, sexting, and voyeurism. I was trying to look up today and see. Oh wait, I didn't weird do weird sex. sex. Well, hold on, you guys. Before we talk about that, let me do weird sex. You said a man is not a necessity. A man is a luxury, like dessert. <laughs> yeah, a man is absolutely not a necessity. Or did you mean that to sound? Mean and bitter? Oh, not at all. I adore dessert. I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. This one is kind of disgusting. It's about a DIY chastity belt. Like, what the fuck? Why would you ever do that? So doctors... Let me put on my voice. <clears throat> Doctors fought hard to salvage the genitals of a man who was forced to wear a makeshift chastity device for being unfaithful. Stop cheating out there, you niggas. Um, the cheating husband woke up in pain one morning to find his penis being strangulated by a metal nut screwed on by his wife as he slept. He tried in vain to remove it himself before calling for an ambulance, which took him to a hospital in southern Ukraine. But even then, the chastity nut was too tough to crack for the doctors. So a specialist team of rescuers were brought in to remove the nut. Friction caused the metal wrapped around his organ to heat up, causing responder, forcing responders to cool it down by pouring water over it. Speaking to local media, rescue team commander, somebody's name I can't pronounce, said, We received a call from doctors who asked me to remove the nut. We used special equipment to do the job. The man was lying on the surgical operating table under anesthesia while we were cutting the object off. Uh, we often face similar incidents and are quite trained in removing rings, handcuffs, and other objects off of people's bodies in this case we actually saved the man's penis thank god so he can go out there and cheat with it again he'll be able to become a father in the future so even though he was out here being trifling and even though she screwed a fucking nut onto his dick it didn't do anything i don't know why you would do that i wouldn't want to do that to my husband simply because like what it, if i'm not done with him i don't want to use that dick again why am i gonna put a nut on your nuts why? But that's what they did. Be careful for all of you um, over there on AnastasiaDate.com looking mm -hmm. for these Ukrainian women because <clears throat> those bitches are apparently crazy just like the rest of us. No, be okay. careful. That shit was weird. <laughs> Very. So, yeah, like I was saying, this week we're talking about sexting, voyeurism, and exhibitionism. And I was trying to find <clears throat> the word for, like, um, a lot of people will say, like, I'm a voyeur. I like to be watched. But that's exhibitionism. Okay, I got to be honest, bitch. What? I don't know what voyeurism is. When you, you sent me this, I was like, what is it? Okay, so we've talked about it. We just maybe didn't say that that's what it is. So voyeurism is when you like to watch other people oh. have sex. And then exhibitionism is when you like to be watched. It doesn't have to be just sex. It could be like anything sexual. Like, um... Maybe if you send like a sexy video of you in the shower, mm -hmm. like bathing yourself or in the tub or something, mm -hmm. or just, uh, I mean, in a criminal way, it's like when you have a peeping Tom who's watching you get undressed. But if you're OK, well, with that's it, extreme. Like. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the criminal side of it. But some people are OK with it and it can be consensual. Um, do you ever like for I, I feel like I've asked you this and I know you've tried it, but do you like 
for people to watch you masturbate or do you like to watch them? I like to watch them. I have not been in that situation too many times Mm because I don't really do either. But if I have to pick, every time someone asks me to masturbate, like you know I don't like doing the video thing for me. Like I don't like doing that. But I have had people ask me to masturbate in front of them, male and female. And I really am not comfortable with it. I'm not comfortable with it, but I will watch you. I will never request it, uh-huh. but like I'll watch you do it if you want me to. Like if that's your thing, I will watch it and I will be pleased by it. I don't like to do it in real life, but like I don't mind sitting in a video like <clears> playing <throat> with my pussy. And I also don't mind if I like fucking you, you can send me a video of you jacking off. Well, like my thing is like do- the videos don't bother me, but it's like the real life is just like, okay, give me the dick. And why am I masturbating? <laughs> well, doing it in real life and even with the videos, I don't what am I supposed to be doing next? Like I mean, I don't know. I, you can always ask them. And it doesn't come off corny. Like, what do you you just ask them, what do you want to see? And they probably have something that they're waiting for and they just gonna text you back real quick. Or tell you if you're on FaceTime. I typically do it um, so that I don't have all those nasty ass videos on my phone. I do it in Snapchat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, when I was doing mm. it. Um, so it'll delete. And I just save the really good videos that I like. It just depends. But um, a lot of times, in my experience, the guys, they, it's kind of gross. Like, they don't even want it to be, like, really pretty. They don't want, like, a good wide shot. They just want it close up. Like, they want to be, like, in there. I guess as if their face was in my pussy. They want it to be really close. And I'm like, I don't. I don't really want my phone that close to my pussy. <laughs> well, see, I start to look at the imperfections of things. I think that's really why I don't like the video thing. Like, oh. they're just, I want you to, the, whoever I'm having sex with, I like to look good in all the moments. And sometimes when I get my phone too close up to my pussy, like, it's just too much pussy. Like, <laughs> it's just be, like, I don't know. I don't think pussies are pretty. I like mine. I mean, I, I don't <laughs> dislike it, but I'm just saying, like, to like record it I don't know I just be like no I like it I just hate when I don't have a wax and somebody is requesting I'm like let me scroll and see if I have any old material hopefully they don't notice the date on it but yeah I don't mind I, I don't, like it I don't know I sometimes and then if I get the phone to listen it's like you can see my little roll up here and then I'm like this ain't cute that's why you get close <laughs> you crop that roll <laughs> you're gonna get the right angle get the right lighting or make it dark enough uh, I think that I'm a person sometimes I like to watch other people have sex like of course I like porn but it's like if I'm just sitting there do I really want to just like watch you and somebody else have sex or just a person and somebody else have sex probably not that I like I like to be watched I like watching you have I like to like watch girls have sex or like watch Mm -hmm. a guy like in real life in real life I do like does that that happen like do people invite you to come watch it has happened um what do they say when they ask you to come watch? Well, it's not like an ask. It kind of just happened. When what? We were just... Can you elaborate? Because <laughs> I'm trying to picture this. <laughs> it kind of just happened. Like, we were in the bed. Like, you remember that one time when we were young, so this would... Remember, we went to go see such and such play football, and then I was having sex with him in his bed, and it was mm-hmm. like, you weren't included in it, but you were in the bed. Mm-hmm. It was like a situation that happened like that. Okay, I was you. in the bed. They started having sex, and then I just turned over and started watching, and then it, mm-hmm. they saw me watching and then started to perform better. Yeah, I think when you know somebody is watching or you know you're being filmed, it's just like, okay, lights, camera, action, got to make it happen. Um, I was having sex with someone one time, and there it was me, a guy, and a girl. Mm-hmm. I thought we were having a threesome, but the girl was like, I just want to watch y'all fuck. And she got out of the bed, sat on the chair, and was like, Okay. And she was really just sitting there watching. Mm-hmm. And then she like started playing with herself and then she came and joined in later. But like for a while, she really was just watching and she was really enjoying it. And I was just like kind of nervous. Like, do you really just want to watch or are you just trying to get me in a vulnerable and position? And bust you in your head and now <laughs> right. you're over here. <laughs> right. Because this was her nigga, not mine. And so I was just like, oh, I didn't I didn't know that's what we were doing. But then I was like, well, okay, this could be fun. Let me try something. There's a first time for, for everything. Every thing i look i have never speaking of first times for everything this mm-hmm. has nothing to do with voyeurism or e- exhibitionism <laughs> but i never dealt with somebody who could possibly have a foot fetish right mm. well the one leg dude who i briefly mentioned in last week's episode i think since he only has one foot he has a foot fetish and he 
he just put my feet on his face and just loved it. And bitch, it was my pussy guy. So wet. what did he do when he put the feet? in your he, face? he was like sniffing them. And he had mentioned that he had a foot fetish. So I made sure I scrubbed my feet. I, I didn't have time say, to were get they a fresh? I, I mm -hmm. before I went, I like scrubbed my feet and like put a whole bunch of like moist lotion on there. Mm -hmm. And because I wasn't sure if he was going to, you know, yeah. Oh, well, he did. I'm glad I did that because he was really smelling them. And he still said they smelled bad. But what? <laughs> How did he tell <laughs> you they smell bad? He was like, with your little stanky feet. But he still. <gasps> Maybe that turned him on just he to still, call him stanky. Yeah. He still kept there. He was just like doing like this with my feet. Like, and I was just like, he only has one foot. So this is his two feet moment. Like. It was incredible, but my pussy got so wet. I liked it. Really? I liked that he wanted to be like under my feet. The one time, well, maybe it wasn't once, but the time I actually remember, he wasn't putting them in his face like that, but he was like really massaging my feet. And then he was like admiring my toenail polish and just like really looking at my feet. And I was, I don't like that because I still got my bunions and I feel like oh. my feet are kind of big for how short I am. So it's <laughs> like, I don't like it. I, I just want you to not pay attention to my feet. Um, I'm not going to keep my socks on, but I don't want you to be, like, focused on these dogs. Like, leave them alone, Initially, please. that is honestly how I felt, too. I was like, it's my feet. Like, I've never really been comfortable with it, but he... And the man be like, I like your toes. Do you? Like, the, these little things. Then I'll be... When I get my body waxed, those things got to get waxed, too. I'm a hairy bitch. Like wow. for real, I know it's little hairs on those toes, and they got to come off. Cause that's not <laughs> cute. Like I don't want. I just feel like they look like man feet. Yeah. Like I try my best to take care of them. I do what I can, but hey, sometimes look, you just can't it help it. You are not your feet. Thank God, cause I wouldn't be shit. Um. Okay. So, does it ever bother you when people like send you videos or pictures? If it's like you're not in the middle of a sexting conversation and it's just like randomly, maybe somebody you fuck before, somebody you want to fuck, one legged dude. Let's say if he just randomly texts you his dick right now or a video jacking off, uh, if would it you was like him, it? I would be okay with it. But if what it, would you say back? <laughs> do, do you me, respond I, with the video? <laughs> I, I wouldn't respond with the video, but I would say, do you need somewhere to put that? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. No, I'm gonna take that. Let me add that to my note. <laughs> but if it's just a random I'm person, really I'm not that. gonna lie. I'm mad. I I feel so disrespected. Sometimes if, like, I'm like, why do you? Why did you think I wanted to? What see What made this? you think I wanted to see that right now? It's one oh. thirty in the afternoon. I'm eating chopped. Yeah. Like what the, the fuck? fuck? Yeah. And now I'm mad. Mm -hmm. and it's like now I want you to give me some money. Have you ever had somebody send you that shit and then they'll be like like you don't respond. They know that you saw it cuz they sent it on Instagram cuz they don't even know you in real life and they're like, "Oh my bad, I meant to send that to somebody else." No you didn't. Now you this just is want a Instagram. Response. You just want a <laughs> response and you're obviously a voyeur cuz you want to be watched. And that's cool, but I'm not the one to watch you. I don't want to see this unsolicited dick is rude. Put it away. But one time, one of them was really big and pretty, but I still didn't want to see it. It was like, go away. And it wasn't attached to a pretty man. Yeah. So that did you know? What did you think I was going to say? Like, come over here Send and let me, me suck more. it? Or yeah. What? You thought I was going to ask you if you needed somewhere to put that? You need to put it away. <laughs> Like, seriously, I just don't. Sometimes when people because I love the videos and the pictures and all this stuff. A lot of people say they hate getting dick pics. They don't like seeing dicks. They don't think that dicks are pretty or whatever. I like all that shit, but I only like it from certain people. Mm -hmm. And I feel like sometimes people just they just take it upon themselves to send it. And I hate that. I don't I don't like it for many. I don't like to send it for many. I, uh, I sent a video. I told you all this a couple of weeks ago, and I am still scared that. It's, this shit is gonna end up on world star girl it's not I'm gonna terrified. be on world star <laughs> i'm all nice to the dude every time i see him in my bed i'm like hey you want some lunch do you need to do anything for you i'm, I'm just scared wine? yeah you need anything i don't well i mean i don't know him but i hope it doesn't happen that nigga's so goddamn fine do you like um if okay back to sexting if you are sexting someone do you like seeing a video of somebody you're currently fucking with somebody else that they're either currently fucking or that they have fucked just the video is them fucking it but it ain't you very clearly it's not you no i, I don't know like because my mind you, you gotta remember i'm a libra i try to go so deep into people's minds and trying to create balance in the situation like does she know you 
video did, did, now i'm like looking at it in like a way of like does she know you took this video did you sneak it okay so are you a creep like and then i start looking at it and now it's not even sexy no more because i'm really gonna ask that who is that and does she know you recorded her and if you say no, now I'm like, okay, so now you just sneak in videos. Did that happen? You gonna sneak? I've had people send me videos and fucking people, and then I'm like, does she know you sent that? I've had people say and yes. And he said no. I've had people say no. I've had oh. people say yes. The, the girl doesn't know you recorded her, so now I'm oh. feeling like, bruh, you a whole what rapist out here? Yeah. I've I can't, never I would had rather anybody you say not no. send me a, if it's like. I, it has to be like very noticeable that the girl sees that you're because if she doesn't, this is a Sonica. Let me, I'm okay, out. it's only been a few times that I have um, hey gotten a video from somebody and they were fucking somebody else, but every time it was like very clear that they knew that the girl knew he knew. Like she looks into the camera. It's a dark room. There's a flash. So it's just like, that shit don't really bother me. I, huh? What about from the back? What about from the back? Yeah. It's never been a video like that where it's just from the back. It'll be like from the back and then she turns over or something. But it's like clear to me that she knows that she's being recorded because I can tell there's a flash. Like I can see the light in your pupil. So, I mean, I guess if my experience had been like Medina, I would feel differently. But thank God it wasn't. That makes me think about things a little different. Shit. I guess I'll wait for her to come back. I don't mind it, though. The the videos of other people. As long as you're not trying to act like you only fucking me. I really only do that with my fuck buddy. I don't mind if he sends me a video of him fucking somebody else. But nobody else has ever done that. And it's like, I know that you took these videos of me. And the videos be good. So I'd be like, I mean, these are some of my best performances. <laughs> yeah, I can see the videos. So I mean, not jealous at all. yeah, I don't get jealous about it. And then it's also like, sometimes, like I've asked before, like, have you ever showed somebody a video of me? Because in one instance, we were trying to like set up a threesome. And so I didn't mind if he shared the videos. I was like, you can share them. It's fine. I'm going to share them on Snapchat, please. And he was like, of course. They can still use another phone. They can use another phone. They can do a lot of stuff. But I just feel like nobody is doing that. Yeah. Mm. In, in that particular instance. Because I feel like everybody had discretion. And nobody wanted their shit to be out. So it was like a level of understanding amongst everybody. Okay, would you, okay, I was texting um, my friend today, and she's going on a trip. It was her, her husband, and 13 girls. This is the couple that I be fucking, or that I used to fuck. Oops. Um, How do we open this? You gotta wind it up. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um... So they're going on this cabin trip. They're going to go ski and stuff. I think she said they're going somewhere in Colorado. But I'm just like, wow. Are y'all fucking all of them? Because that's the first thing I thought. Like, why else would your husband be gone if he wasn't, if it wasn't about to be a I big orgy party? She, get out of <laughs> she likes it because I okay. think she really enjoys being with women. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And like, she is the one who, to me, she's more of the aggressor than he is. It's not like he's like putting her in these positions because a lot of times she's the one that's doing all the mm. shit, not really him. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to go watch the baby. But, um, I wanted to know, would you ever go on a trip with, like, maybe a couple and some other girls and you know that it's about to be, like, a freak trip, not just a regular... Absolutely. What kind, Would you want it to be, like, a mountain trip? Uh, beach trip? Don't care? Staycation? Like, what? I'm not gonna lie. I would prefer it be a mountain trip Me just too. because <laughs> I typically... I don't want to stress about my hair and now I'm not the baddest bitch there no more if we oh, go to gosh. the beach. Oh, <laughs> gosh. I think about all those I believe things. You. Like you're gonna have a plethora of probably the types of dudes I fuck with. It's gonna be a plethora of all types, races, and all type of bitch. I don't want to be at the beach and now. I'm worrying about my my roots getting puffy. I'm not mm -hmm. cute no more. I want you want to throw us all in. I get up now. I'm not even included in the orgies no more because the bitch ain't cute no more. Like no, uh, let's just go to the mountain and keep it cool, calm. And let's do it. And that then way. I'd rather be in the house than out on the in beach the house, doing that. Maybe some shit. jacuzzi action. Maybe like we have a game where we got a movie theater. Like, mm -hmm. cool, cool. That's what the fuck we're doing. But yeah, that's it. 
Yeah, I feel you on that. Do you want to move forward with like advice and stuff so they're not waiting that long or? So who's not waiting? She's here. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, we can just do one. Well, let's do let's do three advice letters and then just one cocktail. Okay. And then move on. Okay. I'll record Indecisive Diane when we finish the next one. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So we're going to um, move on to Indecisive Diane. And then we're going to move on to advice and cocktails. Wow. Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? What do you want? All right, Diane. So what cute little date idea do you have for us this week? Hey, ladies. It's me, indecisive Diane. I'm back and I'm better. Well, girl, you never left us. I know, but I just feel like a better person. So listen here. There's a place in Buckhead. You know, lately we've really just been loving the Buckhead spots. You know, people have money. It's fun. You can get bottomless mimosas. And then you don't got to give up your bottom to get the bu- Girl, what are you talking about? Never mind. Never mind. So listen, there's this place. It's called Corner Cafe. This place is amazing. I love it for a Sunday brunch. Sunday after church. You're going to go. You're going to have a long wait. So maybe make a reservation. But listen, the wait is worth it, ladies. Go here on a cute date. Go here with someone that loves conversation. Go here with someone that's family oriented. Maybe maybe you're dealing with somebody who has some little tots and he has to bring them along because it's his weekend. And even though you don't like them, this sounds personal. All right, ladies. So it's called... Corner Cafe. Here's the address. Oh, and let me let you know. They have a variety of breakfast, brunch, lunch. You're going to love it. Soups, salads, fresh bread. You're going to love it. Here's the address. 3070 Piedmont Road, Atlanta, Georgia, 30305. Go there. Check it out. They close at 3.30, so get there early with somebody that you actually like, ladies. This is not a sugar daddy spot. Thanks, ladies. Thanks, Diane. Bye. That went by so quick. It was fun, though. (laughs) Yeah, it wasn't at all. It wasn't. Mm -mm. That was at least 45 minutes, though, right? Mm Mm-mm. For real? Mm Mm-mm. I mean, because I don't know what to. I don't want to have them just like out there sitting. I think y'all should do like twenty more minutes. So maybe at least an hour. Hmm. Are you gonna tell a real cocktail? No, I'm just gonna read one. Unless you have, do you have a real one? I do, but I'm not gonna share it because we're just gonna do one, so we can just read one. Um, okay, so now we're back and it's time for advice. Um, this week's, uh, or every week, remember to send your advice to askcocktails at gmail.com. Don't send your advice emails anywhere else. Don't DM them none of that shit. Send them to the email, please. Okay, so this one, the subject line is trying to back a unicorn. You guys ask this a lot. But I'm going to keep answering because I know some of you guys are new here. All right. So it says, hello, queens. First off, I want to give a shout out to you two beautiful women for all the good, the great and the nasty vibes you all put into the world. May the good Lord continue to bring (laughs) to bring us his blessings through you two black, sexy, educated, magnificent wonders of BDE. Yes, love. Okay, so I have a dilemma that I need help with. Um. I need help bagging this beautiful, sexy, OMG potential unicorn. She is everything. She's smart. She's funny. Her personality is everything. Her vibes are great. She's successful and only going up from where she's at. She's funny as hell. She can be a little picky when it comes to her men, but who ain't got a type? She likes the one. She liked the one right. 
I don't know what that means. And it, this person didn't put she's. I'm having to like say that <laughs> just FYI. You have no okay. proofread. Read. Yeah. Okay. My old lady and I are newlyweds, sort of, in an open relationship community. All her ideas shock the shit out of me, too. And we both are infatuated with this woman. She's bad, bad. My wife don't think I can bag her. Well, damn. But <laughs> wife <laughs> mean? <laughs> or maybe she's realistic. Um, but I started this new year with a new goal to try to try the shit I want to do. Stop being scared. Besides, the worst she can say is no, right? Right. Sorry so long. Closing arguments. Thanks for holding that. I have an idea and I guess a question. I would love to feed two birds with one worm. The first feeding is getting YouTube bundle of se- Hold on. The first feeding is getting YouTube bundle of sexiness up here to Seattle to do a live show for us. Um, for like the whole city of Seattle or for like you and your wife I'm not <laughs> sure it wasn't really clear um, bring your natural sun glow with you okay and the second feeding would be entertaining the woman of my wife's and I dreams and possibly help her with a new year's resolution Medina we want you to be our unicorn was this whole thing about you? I didn't read that part. I'm I just so read the first paragraph. Um, let us know what's up, no matter what, with love, Medina Stan. Are you Is there a check involved? <laughs> I'm like, look. I don't think there's a check involved. I don't think I can do it. I mean, I don't know <laughs> you. Like, what? I'm flattered. Yes, you want me to come to Seattle, get a hotel, and fuck you and your nigga, and I don't. I'm not getting paid. Bruh, I need to check if you want if you want me to send you my rates I'll do it but like we're not just doing this for free I don't even know y'all it's not even the free it's the fact that you didn't use a she apostrophe s at all in the email <laughs> so I'm just like how are these conversations gonna go I don't know but I mean y'all didn't ask me y'all asked Medina so it's a hard no from Medina it's a hard no you didn't send a picture so now I'm nervous what y'all look like I, I'm not <laughs> This Y'all do like, live in Seattle. That's an expensive city to live in. A depressing in, so, city. And it rains a lot. So now mm-hmm. I got to get a keratin treatment. Yeah. Like, this is a lot. That, there's a lot of factors here. So... But all jokes aside, though, if there's another unicorn that y'all want, um, I think that you just got to try and, like, get to know her. Damn, did I just break my nail? Um, it's like you got to try and get to know her. You need to try and get her just like you got your wife. But just understand you're going to have to try it harder because most people are not going to be down for that shit. That's why it's a unicorn. And I, that's why I think when people are trying to get a unicorn, it's not it's just not fair that you want the unicorn. It's almost like y'all two are together, whether you're married or you're dating. And now you want to bring me into your relationship. And y'all think y'all don't both have to court me. You got me fucked up. It's two of y'all, first of all. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Some courting needs to be done. Like, I feel like people just have to remember that. Yeah, it's like you just think that this is a person that you can get out of a vending machine that's going to be okay with it just because maybe they've done some freak shit in the past. And that's not really how, you know, life goes. So... Just approach it like you're really trying super hard. Like if if you thought you had a chance with Brianna and think of all the things you would do for her. Do that for this unicorn. Yeah. Not Medina, but another one that you're trying to get. Preferably somebody local. That's going to be a lot easier for you guys. Um, and th- that's the best advice. Yeah. I can give and then you. your wife also has to be a part of the courting. You, I feel like a lot of times in these unicorn situations, everybody's trying to make the girl that's in the relationship or the wife feel comfortable. That, no, that's not really how it goes. What you mean? Like it's like the unicorn the the girl who's coming into the relationship is mm-hmm. also trying to like make the wife feel comfortable if she's not with it, and then the husband is like, we got to make my wife feel comfortable. When that's not how I think this should goes. You're bringing me into your relationship. Y'all should have already talked about this, and mm-hmm. y'all should have. Everybody has to be comfortable, yeah. and that's why it's hard to do. Period, because it's just like all these different personalities, all these different situations. Everyone needs to feel comfortable. Nobody wants to feel left out because you could have a wife who's really more into women than she is to men, and then the the husband. My might be the one mm-hmm. who feels left out. Yeah, like, think, baby, what? What's going on? <laughs> like, you, you had her here and you're not calling me? Like, do you need? Do you have something you want to tell me? Y'all got emails going. Y'all really going to get y'all nails done? What y'all doing? Can I, I come? come. <laughs> <laughs> y'all coming back tonight? Oh, you going to her place? I'll come. What's the address? You don't need the address. She said we good. And then it's just like, well, wait a minute. You lying talking about y'all both on y'all period. <laughs> no, y'all not. Stop. Y'all exactly. Up. Okay. Well, good luck to you on your search. This one, I was going to read that really long one but we're kind of like pressed for time so this one is very short thank you girl 
the subject line is dick me down properly, please. She said, hey, ladies. So my man and I have been dating for about three years now and he doesn't fuck me good. Like he's either too passionate and I just want to be fucked or he tries to fuck me and the rhythm just ain't right. I mean, there have been times in the past where we've had some bomb ass sex with the help of my bullet. But I want bomb ass sex without the help of my toy. Recently, I haven't been having sex with him because I don't feel satisfied during or after. And I often find myself thinking about the last guy I was with right before him. Okay. So you are you cheating or ladies question is how do I tell him he isn't dicking me down properly without hurting his feelings? Love you ladies. Love the show. Um, she sent a little heart. I mean, I don't think that you can say you're not dicking me down properly and not hurt his feelings. The best thing that you can do is try and guide him. And if he's not picking up on the hints or the suggestions or the demands, you just have to hurt his feelings. I mean, or suffer through bad sex or start cheating. Which it sounds like you already have started it. <laughs> but I feel like there's not yeah, like there's not a way to do it, but you just got to do it. You, if you're not satisfied, and I don't know how old you are, but I'm at a point in my life right now where it's like, I got to tell you. And you don't have, it doesn't have to be mean. You can even start it off like, babe, I'm not trying to be rude. I hope I don't hurt your feelings, but like... Can you do something else? Yeah. If if everything is wrong, okay, this won't work. But if something is right and he's just doing a lot of the wrong things, then it's like positive reinforcement tends to work well with men. Mm -hmm. So like when he does something really good, you have to like amp up your excitement for that and then be like a dead fish for the other things if he's not listening yeah um if you or if you don't feel comfortable like really using your words which you should but i get it if you don't it's hard to tell somebody that it's not your sex isn't good sometimes you can even like send him a clip of a type of porn that you like yes. that you would like him to like reenact and like send it to him and be like babe i really want to try this yeah, I think that works good. Whether you're having bad sex or not, it could just be for the other people listening. It could just be something you want to try and you don't know how to introduce it. Mm -hmm. Like send that clip or say you was listening to us and we said something on the show and you want to try it. That's a great way to do it. That is a great way to do it. Fast forward to this specific part. He not going to know you sent it and be like, babe, could you imagine? And then he's going to say something. You gonna be like, well, actually, I wrote this. Or, <laughs> or if you don't want to be that direct, you could, you could be like, I mean, if 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 my sex wasn't good, what would you tell me? Or how would you tell me? And then see, because that's probably how he would want to be told. And then and you then might be even like, be shocked. Because what if that nigga's like, babe, I've been Actually, wanting to tell you, your pussy dry. And now y'all all just talking and saying what you like, what you don't like. You might get some she orgasms. He might start fucking Kiki you better. And look, so. bam. Yeah, like, um, yeah, the side is back up, by the way. Get your get your pills if your pussy is dry or, you know, if it's it's a little off, some pH balance ain't right. You want some soap? There's lots of things to get. But, yeah, there's a, there's lots of ways to go about this. I hope that you can talk to him about it or direct him. Do something. Yeah. I hope it gets good. And then you can send us a cocktail next time. Yes. Hopefully. You okay, it, girl. So next one. Last one. This is the last advice letter. Um, This says one kid and a fucking possible. Hmm, this don't sound good. I feel like y'all are always sending us stuff about people having these damn babies. All right. Hey, guys. I was at the live show in Dallas. So much fun. Shout out to the DPD officer that grabbed me and my homegirl. Me and my homegirl. That um, <laughs> couch. I don't know what that means. But uh -oh. OK, because we were late. And didn't have oh that grabbed you mm -hmm. the couch and didn't have uh, seats at first now to my advice I've been dating this guy for almost four months which isn't that long but I'm just like Medina I meet you I like you and then I love you damn and start planning our future together y'all have got to slow down okay <laughs> so when I met him I was being intentional about dating <coughs> being upfront and honest and I didn't do my usual background checks smart move Okay, I wanted their relationship to grow organically. He has a lot of good qualities and he's been helping me grow as a person. The only thing I didn't like is that he has a four-year-old, but I was willing to look past that because nobody is perfect. And at 27, one kid is better than five. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, one day I had a double espresso at 6 p.m. and found myself wide awake in in his bed at 3 a.m. And the crazy lady in my head started screaming, find his baby mama. Girl, you got to turn down that crazy, crazy bitch. 
We are. Okay. They've supposedly been broke up for about six to seven months. Y'all, why the hell I get on her IG page and she's pregnant and is calling the fucking baby LJ <laughs> as in my man's junior. I confront him because he had me so fucked up at this point. He proceeds to tell me that they aren't 100% sure who the daddy is and he didn't want to tell me until he knew for sure. Bullshit because I wouldn't be talking to your ass had I known you had this drama and you knew it. Selfish niggas. So so I've been emotionally detaching since then because I'm pretty sure it's his. She's pretty sure too, naming it after him. Sometimes that's wishful thinking. I told y'all about my brother. But anyway, okay, he's currently guilt tripping me with the how could you leave me before we even know for sure line? Am I wrong for walking away? Should I just wait this month out to see what's up? Then if I say, if I stay, how do I shake the constant attitude that I have? Sorry, this is so long and thanks for your help in advance. Nobody stepmama. This is we so had a funny. similar letter. But it's so funny because this is what I be talking about. When you make a man mad, they don't even think to be like, let me think it all the way out. And I'm not think writing no I'm podcast. I'm going to consider her feelings. This might be the baby daddy. It might. That nigga is gone. He's ghosting you. He you blocked see? you on Instagram. He doesn't give a fuck. First of all, she's talking about... I'm done. You're not done because you're writing this letter and you talk about, am I wrong for walking away? You ain't walked away, sis. And you probably not going to walk away and you about to be a whole step mama because you're Well, she didn't say it. she walked away. She should, she, should she wait till the month to see what's up? No, or she, that's what I'm saying. She's oh. saying like, she said, what did she say? Um, So she's been detaching but, but she's pretty sure it's his. Am I wrong for walking away? She hasn't walked away. She's asking, you need am I to wrong walk to walk away? That's what I'm saying. You're going to have an attitude. And if you're going to have an attitude with him, like, let it go. Because that is his baby. Let's and all... even if it's not, you're going to be having an attitude for so long. He's going to be tired of you. And then you're going to be writing us because he's going to dump you like he dumped her. He dumped her. Obviously, there was some other stuff going on. He did walk away exactly like you said. When when there's uncertainty with men. They don't even th think about it. They're not considering your feelings. It don't matter how long y'all been together. It's a wrap. It don't matter if it's your birthday. It don't matter if it's Valentine's Day. It don't matter <laughs> if somebody just died. That nigga's gone. <laughs> He's gone. You over here crying. Listen to Beyonce. Your friends is like, it's okay, girl. Yeah, he gonna come. No, he don't care. He, you need to go ahead and go on with your life. You don't even want the four year old child. Now he got another. It's time to go. LJ Jr. needs his dad and his mom to be together. You need to go and find somebody else. There's a lot of fine niggas out here. You got it, girl. Well I do think you should go, but I don't know about that fine nigga part. It's all right. You'll get another nigga. They don't have to be fine. Okay, so that's it for the advice this re week. Remember, send them to askcocktails at gmail.com. That's A-S-K-C-O-C-K-T-A-L-E-S. -E I almost forgot how to spell. All right. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So now it's time for us to move on to the cocktails. This is the last part of the show. Remember, if you ever want to share one of your sexual confessions with us, Please. you are more than welcome to. Um, you email them to us at cocktail, C O C K T A L E S dot A T L at gmail dot com. So this week we're only going to do one because we're recording two episodes today and our second guest is already here. So, um, Medina, what you got? You looking at me like share an OG cocktail. I want you to, but you already told me you weren't, so I'm not going to press the issue. But I might for the next episode because we have oh, a very we'll special see. guest. Um, but I have a cocktail pulled up that okay. is short, sweet, and to the point. So this young lady titled this one a wig named slip back cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> hey best friends so usually for my late night creeps i'll pack my wig in my hoe bag so it can look fresh in the morning <laughs> but last night i decided i wanted to be cute i slid my nice closure wig on so the tresses so the tresses could cascade down my back while i was looking back at it ciao Little did I know it was going to get a bit hectic. As I proceeded to give that good sloppy toppy on the edge of the bed <gasps> upside down, my wig started slipping and sliding. And I'm sure I was the opposite of cute. As I clutched my unit to avoid devastation, 
moral of the story i'm gonna <laughs> stick to my bonnets the next time i decided <laughs> the next time i decide i'm gonna spend the night signed bold hold me beautiful bold hold is the wig tape oh <laughs> not only the wigs. i was like bold hold bold hold me please um Dang, I mean, Kiki has told a lot of stories about the wig coming off and niggas snatching. I only turned told one story, Uh-oh. Medina. <laughs> it was one time after a wedding when I got some dick and the wig slid off and he took it off. That was it. That was a funny one. Um, sorry that happened to you, girl. Maybe don't do the bonnet though. Don't do the do, bonnet. You could do a cute head wrap, but then again, unless it's your who man. is this nigga? Yeah, if he's not, if he's your man, like okay, put the bonnet on. But even still, I feel like if you wear your bonnet too much with your whole man, he gonna start cheating soon. Well, can you write us back and let us know your exact relationship status? Because I know who this is from. Oh, you do? Yep. So I would just love for you, you to tell the relationship status. Thank you, girl. Okay, so that's it for this week. Um, remember, if you have any inquiries at all, you want to collaborate with us, any of that good stuff, email us, cocktails at acl at gmail.com. We don't want anything to get lost in the Instagram DM, so it's best to email us. If you have some advice, send it to askcocktails at gmail.com. If you want to order your sheet orgasms, get those. Use my code, Kiki Said So. Mm-hmm. Um, and then other than that, follow us on Instagram at Cocktails Podcast. I'm at Kiki Said So. I'm at Coffee Bean Dean. And one more thing, if yeah. you guys want to, y'all know I love going to comedy shows and lately I've been dabbling in them myself. Uh, one of my friends, her name is Safia. I got her into comedy and she has a show January 28th at the Laughing Skull Lounge in Midtown. If you guys want to meet me there, hit me up in my DMs. Let's all go support my friend and just hear some people be funny. All right, y'all. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Wait on the track.